the X button. And I love the... Gotcha, oh. sucker. <laughs> Dang, darn. Hey everyone, so I recently decided to create a game in just 5 days for the interstellar game Jam 6. Let me tell you, it was a roller coaster of emotions. First I went on a scavenger hunt for assets, feeling like the gaming Indiana Jones. I found a space shooter pack and a cool character from Google and mixed it all up with a laboratory pack I snagged from his rotayo. Then I thought I'd be all fancy to create a rule tile for a map. But it made everything more chaotic than my life, so I chucked out that idea through the window. Instead, I resorted to a good old simple tiles to draw on the grid. I ended up making four different grids because why make things easy, right? And then I drew, I drew and I kept trying until I felt like a visual Picasso. Then for some effects, I imported Universal Render Pipeline and added the Shadowcaster 2D component to the tile map and then set the shape to Composite Collider 2D. Then I dived into making the basic mechanics of the game. I first imported the latest input system. Seriously, why is not this default by now? Then I created some input actions and begged Unity to make a C-sharp class. Then I copied some old code from my recent game. Voila, the mechanics are working. Next up, I started working on the dialogues and notes that players could discover the story. I created a dialogue manager and made three arrays in it. One for the actual dialogue, second for the character who's talking and third for callbacks. Making callbacks was a very useful thing. You can start another dialogue after the first has ended, just like adding plot twists. Then I made a nice looking note and made it draggable. I added some opening animation to it. But guess what? It allowed the game to open multiple instances of the node to completely destroy the API. Then I engineered an expandable trigger system. So every key has a digit before its name and the door with the same digit before its name can be opened by it. Notes and dialogue triggers go the same way. Then I started writing the dialogues and found my first Unity bug. The whole array editor broke at 27 strings, but I still could edit it somehow. So yeah, it worked, glitches and all. Then I added some stories, menus and credits. I made transitions and animations by using coroutines, which were actually a great time saver. Finally finishing up, I released the game one day before the deadline and that's how I made a game in five days. If that's not a roller coaster, I don't know what is. You can watch the review on the game on the Interstellar Garden channel. Link in description. Thank you.